welcome back to my channel and if you are new here my name is Audrey and as y'all can tell from the title of this video this is going to be a Timu haul and review so I'm really excited to bring this video to y'all some of the stuff I bought myself the rest of it the clothing was provided by Timu for this video so a huge thank you to them for reaching out to me to do this video if you're like me I have been so curious about this company so I'm really really excited to bring y'all my experience so if you haven't already hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to let you know when I upload a new video and let's go ahead and get started Like I said, I did buy a couple of the pieces that I'm going to show you in this haul. I like to do that or I try to do that when I'm bringing a new brand that I've never ordered from or never bought from before just so I can see it from the customer's perspective. So three items in this haul we're going to go ahead and talk about now. Um, like I said, the clothing they provided for me, so we're going to get to those next. But I wanted to talk to y'all about the pieces that I got. So I just wanted to tell y'all, I placed my order, and I'll put a little screenshot up here. I placed this order on January 25th, and all three packages arrived February 1st. So that is not a big turnaround time. I didn't know exactly how long it would take. So really, really happy about that <laughs> because I needed these pieces in my life. So the first little thing, and I'm going to put the price and everything over here along with the pictures from online. Y'all know how I do. So I got these little, it's a set of four. So they're four little canisters and they're so cute. So they're the perfect size for cotton rounds, Q-tips, anything that you need to store in your bathroom or wherever. But they're just little plastic cups with lids. Very, very cute. Um, packaging was really nice. They had a lot of styrofoam and all this stuff wrapped around it so nothing came cracked or broken or anything so I was really happy with this the other piece that I ordered is this brush holder but it's like a lazy Susan <laughs> if y'all know what I'm talking about so it's got the little wheelie thing on the bottom here and that's just the lid to keep the dust and stuff off of them and that's it is so pretty so it holds your brushes and everything so I'm planning on organizing my makeup because it kind of gets a little out of hand during the week and stuff when I'm working I just get ready and just I got stuff everywhere so I'm really excited to organize the bathroom with all my makeup stuff but y'all that is so cute I could just picture our cats in there just pawing at this <laughs> but it's so pretty and I love that it spins around so the last item that I bought I have been seeing this everywhere so I am I see their ads on Instagram Facebook and all of that and I just haven't seen any reviews of these and so I just said I want one I'm gonna try it we'll see and it is gorgeous so I did take a little kind of an unboxing video that I'll have playing over here but I got one of their makeup storage boxes and I really wanted the one that's just a little bit bigger but they only had it in a green and it's more of a retro like Brady Bunch kind of green. This one comes in the green too, but I wanted a white one. And so the really big one, they were sold out of the white one. So I went with the one that's just a little bit smaller and they had it in the white. So it's got the little gold feet on the bottom. You've got this top that lifts up and it's, it's pretty deep for storage. So this side, this whole side comes open to store your lipsticks or mascaras or whatever you want to put in there. And then this one, each individual drawer opens for more storage and then you have the drawers down here on the bottom that open y'all this thing is so cute and I remember when I was younger and I was obsessed with caboodles because I would use my allowance to buy makeup <laughs> and, you know my daddy would take me to Walmart and I would just buy a few pieces of makeup and I would I loved my caboodles and I would I would try to get a new one whenever I could whenever I could afford it but I always wanted the next one like the big one or you know just different colors and stuff so this kind of reminds me of that but just a more grown-up caboodle so I love this these pieces like I said ordered the 25th got it on the first and the reason that I filmed the unboxing of the storage box is because it is pretty delicate it's just it's plastic so I mean it's got to travel pretty far for it to have not had any scratches cracks nothing in it that's pretty good so I wanted to show you all those pieces that I got no issues I mean seamless 
everything all across the board. So I am so, so happy. So definitely take a look at their organization stuff, tons of home stuff. They got a little bit of everything for every body. It, it is amazing. So now we're going to kind of switch gears and go into the clothing. And all of these pieces, again, were provided by Timo, but I did pick them out myself. So we're going to go ahead and talk about those now. So now we're gonna talk about the first look and it is this little two-piece set. I did, at first I thought it was a jumpsuit and then I realized it was a two-piece set. So you get the pants and the top separately and it does come with a sash belt too. So we're gonna talk about the top first. So again, this is a set. And so here is the top. It is a peplum top. And for this one, I went with the 3XL based on the measurements. So I'm going to tell you, go by the measurements on each individual piece. I talk about that a lot on this channel. Do it for everything. All sites. It doesn't matter what it is. If they have individual sizing for cert for each piece, follow that. If you're, if, if you're like, oh, I'm always a 3X and I'm just going to order 3X across the board you know, it, it's not always a good idea to do that. So definitely compare your measurements to the ones that are provided for each individual piece because you could be a 1X in something or a 3X in something else. So just save yourself the trouble and go by the measurements for each piece. So for this two piece set, I went with a 3XL and it is 100% polyester. So here is the top. So you do have this zipper down the back, if y'all can see, and it does zip all the way down almost to the end. So it stops about right here. You've got a little bit of a puff sleeve right up here. Long sleeves, very, very stretchy. And then you have your little banded waist right here and that peplum. I will say I wish that the peplum part right here was just a little bit longer because the pants that come with it, and I gotta tell you, these are the most comfortable pants I have ever put on. <laughs> I might wear them to work. I have to work today, so I might throw them on for work. So here they are. They're just pull-on black, almost not really wide leg, more of a straight leg. They're just a little bit wider. Um, and you have an elastic band all the way around the waist, and you have pockets. You got pockets in these pants. These pants are perfect. The only really real call out, I guess, is that the elastic is not sewn through, so it does start to, it does twist up a little bit, but it's an easy fix. Just pull it as tight as it'll go and wiggle it around, and you can fix that. Or get your needle and thread and sew through the back of it, and it'll stay in place. But these pants are perfect. I love these pants. The top, that, like I said, the only issue is that the peplum is just not quite long enough in the front for me. So you can see the seam of the pants in the front. So I don't know, it just kind of distracted me a little bit. Um, this one for some reason also does not have belt loops. So there's no belt loops on this top but it comes with a sash belt that matches. Um, now I do show this one, we've probably already seen the try on part by now, but I do show this one also with a gold belt. It's just a little stretchy elastic belt that I already had, just to kind of dress it up a little bit if you wanted to. If you don't want to do the sash belt that comes with it, you could always do any kind of a gold belt if you have one or silver or whatever. I just wanted to show y'all another way of styling it just to give it a little bit more, maybe dress it up for night. But very comfortable, very stretchy, a little bit thicker material. It almost feels like, almost feels kind of like that neoprene stuff that the body con dresses are made out of, but very comfortable. And I love the shape of it. I just really wish that pet bone was just a little bit longer. And now the next piece in this haul is this little skater dress, or I call it a skater dress, but it's more of a fit and flare, and it's black and red. And so for this one, I went with the 3XL, and it's 95% polyester, 5% spandex. So one of the really cute details, that I'm not big on cold shoulder stuff. I, I hope that that's kind of phased out a little bit, <laughs> but I do like this. It's kind of the little crisscross right here on the sleeve. So it is still kind of cold shoulder, but not. I don't <laughs> but this one's really, really cute. It's very stretchy. I will say though, and I do show this in the try on part, the pockets stick out. So when you, even when I'm, it's hanging up here, you can see the pockets sticking out. Cause I was thinking, well, I do have some hips on me. So maybe that's what's pushing them out. But even on the hanger, you can see they're sticking out right here. So just keep that in mind. If you wanted to, you could probably size up and maybe that'll help some, but I don't think so because it's just kind of 
sticks out no matter what you do right here at the bottom. But this is a really, really cute dress. It's fitted at the waist and it's just more of an A-line dress, but it's a little bit shorter, not a mini dress or anything like that, but it is just a little bit shorter than what I typically wear. So you could always put this with some tights and booties if you're not, you know, if you're a little worried about it because the wind did pick up this skirt and it was just blowing everywhere outside. Um, I was going to do it with tights and booties to show y'all, but it is very warm outside and I have to go to work after this, so I did not want to be sweating. <laughs> so you do have options with this one, but it's really, really comfortable and I don't know, just other than the pocket thing, you know, but that's not a deal breaker for me. The next piece in this haul, they're all dresses, just so y'all know. They're all dresses from here on. <laughs> but here it is. It's just a red, little lightweight dress. Just simple red dress. Now, this one, I will say is a little bit on the thinner side. Um, so I'm sh I haven't looked at the try on part of this yet, so I'm sure that you can kind of see the sun through it. Um, but I went with the 2XL on this one, and I would say a very generous 2XL. There was a, a lot of fabric under the arms and in the bust, but nothing bad. It's supposed to be a little bit more of a baby doll fit, so you expect that. But this one is a 2XL, 95% spandex, 5%, oh, I think they got it. So, okay, so here's what my tag says. It says 5% polyester, 95 spandex. I think that's backwards. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm pretty sure that that's backwards. It feels just like a cotton dress, honestly. But, yeah, I think they got that mixed up. You have faux buttons right here at the front, a banded waist. Good little bit of stretch in this, but like I said, it is a baby doll fit, so it's going to be a wider waist anyway. And then you have a full skirt. You've got the little, pretty little pleating here long sleeves, scoop neck, but not too, too low. And I did pair it with, I show it as it is, and then I paired it with just a plain black belt that I already had, just to bring in the waist a little bit. But this is such a comfortable dress. So I'm definitely going to get a few more of those because when it gets to be spring, it's comfy dress time. So I'm gonna need a few more of those in some different colors. And now for the next dress. So I will say, I like it, but it's way too big. I thought it was gonna be more fitted um, than it is, but it's it's, pr it's a pretty big dress. Um, so for this one, based on the measurements, I went with a 3XL, and it's 95% polyester, 5% spandex. So the picture that they had online, I'll put it up here, um, it just looked more fitted. I, I don't know, so I probably, I could have gone with a 1XL and probably gotten the fit that it looked online, but you know now the material in this is pretty thin you can't see through it completely but i did have on something underneath i did have on a white slip underneath just because i this is some very thin thin material if y'all can see it's pretty thin um it zips up the back and you do have this really cute bow right here attached that's kind of what sold it for me because i love any kind of embellishment right here you have the banded waist here a little bit more of a baby doll fit rather than the more vintage fit that they had online. I don't know, I just thought it was gonna be a little bit more curve hugging, but it's not. Um, the armholes are very, very big in this too. So I do show that in the try on part, but they're just overly big and the darts, right, I don't know, this part right here was just a little too far out. So I had a lot of fabric under my arms and all of that. So what I decided to do is pair it with a Mac sweater or a Ye Mac sweater that I already had. And so I did put on a white cardigan with this and I just pulled the little yellow bow out where you could still see it and I belted the cardigan. Um, I don't know, the fabric in this one is, is just not great to be honest with you. I wish it had more of a heavier cotton feel to it but the overall look of it is really cute. And I love the yellow and the polka dots and the bow is just the best, but it's just way too big. So I would say if you're close to my measurements, which are included in the description box below, I would say go ahead and go with maybe a 1X because the fit of this is very, very, very generous. So now the next two dresses are the exact same dress. Y'all know how I like to shop. <laughs> and I gotta say, these two dresses are absolute wins in my book. They are so beautiful and they're bright and colorful. And I mean, it's, it's this is the first sunny day that we've had in about two weeks. So I am loving that the sun's out and I was able to put these colorful dresses on for y'all. So the first one, I have this bright orange. Look at this dress, y'all. I love this one and again, 
several different colors to choose from, so I'm definitely gonna go on there and pick a few more out because this fabric is perfect. I wish I could feel, it's very different. I mean, you can see how smooth it is. It only had a few wrinkles in it, and I just steamed it. You know, I know I steam everything, so the wrinkles just fell right out of it, and I mean, and it did not re-wrinkle at all. I belted it and everything. This fabric is so nice. So we're gonna go ahead and talk about that, see what it is. So for this one and the next one, I went with the 3XL and it is, and it's 95% polyester, 5% spandex, but y'all, it is so nice. A little bit thicker than obviously the one that y'all just saw, but really, really nice and stretchy and just gorgeous. It almost feels like a long time ago, there used to be workwear, like non-wrinkle workwear that you could get pretty much everywhere, and that's how it feels. It just feels so nice. I, my uniform at Estee Lauder felt like this years ago, so it's that kind of material, but it's just your basic, it's just a shirt dress, so it buttons all the way down, functioning buttons. You've got that little ruffle at the bottom. Right here, you got a little bit of pleating sewn in and a little bit wider of a fit. So again, a little bit more of that baby doll fit, but I did belt this one with our darker Amazon belt that I think we all have one of now. <laughs> but I did belt this with that, but it was really cute not belted. So you don't have to if you don't want to. The fit, the color, the fabric, absolutely beautiful. Highly, highly, highly recommend these dresses. Get all the colors, all the colors. <laughs> so the next color of this one that I got, and again, I did belt it. I belted it with the lighter brown, the original Amazon belt. So I do, I did have that with this one. So this is this beautiful blue, y'all. Y'all, that blue is gorgeous. It is absolutely beautiful now one thing i will say when you first put this dress on and i i have my arm measurements in the description box i do carry weight in my upper arms you know it's just life but i was a little bit worried like oh they're going to be too tight but the fabric's kind of stretchy and once you get that dress in place and get it buttoned and all of that it's perfect the sleeves are not too tight at all so if your arms are about my size you will be fine. You will have nothing to worry about. So this one is again, 95% polyester, 5% spandex, 3XL. Y'all, that color, this fabric, I wish y'all could feel this fabric. So again, I did belt both of these with the wide cinch belts, but they look beautiful without the belt. I, there's so many different things you could do with this. Pair it with sneakers if you wanted to go a little bit more casual. Put on some big wedges and dress it up if you want to. I love these dresses. They feel so, so good, and I am so happy that I have these colors because it's just beautiful. And now we are down to the last two pieces in this haul. So I have two maxi dresses for y'all. I don't show a lot of maxi dresses on here. I'm not sure why. I just, I don't know. <laughs> so when I saw them online, they were just so pretty. And so I wanted to try them out and see how they look. So with both of these, I will say they are pretty long. So I did have on some wedges, maybe two and a half inch wedges, not anything crazy, because y'all know I can't do the real tall stuff, um, and they were fine. So just your basic, maybe two inch, two and a half inch wedges, and I'm five six, and it brought it up just enough where it was not dragging the ground, but it still covered my feet. So these are, so just look at the measurement for the length of these. If you are shorter than me, you know, you might either have to have it hemmed or get you some big old shoes to wear. <laughs> So the first one that we're going to look at is this really pretty green and white. So I don't have anything like this, it's just such a beautiful color combination. I think it's gorgeous, especially for summer. This would be beautiful. And I live at the beach, so you know, this would be a really nice going out one night dress. So if I was a going out kind of person. <laughs> so for this one, I went with a 3XL, 95% polyester, 5% spandex. So as y'all can see, very, very, very stretchy material, but y'all, so comfortable. So you have your long sleeves, you have the faux wrap right here. It does have an invisible zipper under the right arm right here. There is the zipper right there, and it goes pretty much halfway down. Um, I did not need it because this material is so stretchy, like I said, and you've got the faux wrap at the top, so that gives you pretty much wide open to 
to go over everything. And it does come with a matching sash belt, but I will say there's no belt loops on this. And the sash belt is pretty short. It's not terribly long. If y'all can see, it's just folded in half right here. I mean, it fit fine, but I just tied it in a little knot rather than a bow because I didn't have a whole lot of fabric to go. So that's just the only thing. It does not have belt loops, um, or at least mine doesn't, but very comfortable, very, very comfortable. Now I did have on a little nude slip under this um, because it is white and it's very bright outside. So I wasn't sure if you'd be able to see right through it. So I did have on a nude slip, not shapewear, just a slip. And I think it's fine. Again, I have not looked at the try on part of this, but I believe that it'll be fine. <laughs> but full length, like I said, I mean, that's a lot of fabric beautiful this one I think would travel really well I did steam it it had a few wrinkles in it but they fell right out without any problem so this kind of material is really really nice for warmer weather so if you're going on a cruise or going to a resort or something you can just throw this in your luggage and iron it or steam it out and you will be just fine it is beautiful very very comfortable gorgeous and now for the last piece in this Timu haul. I know that I've been showing y'all a whole lot of stuff. <laughs> so this last dress, again, is a maxi dress. And y'all, it is royal blue. It is absolutely a beauty. It is gorgeous. So it is still the same style, that faux wrap right here. Just a little bit different. You do have fabric belt loops on this one and a matching sash belt. The belt is plenty long enough had no problems with that love this very very stretchy again this one I think probably has a little more spandex in it um it it's pretty heavy too so this is a heavier weight and anytime you have a maxi dress that has a lot of stretch and it, it's going to be a little bit heavier so this one again 3xl 95% polyester 5% spandex so love this here's the fabric very it's that very spandexy fabric but not slick or cold you know what i mean but i love this the color is just gorgeous now i will say this one felt like it was a little bit longer than the one that you just saw so this one covered my shoes it just barely came up off the ground so just keep that in mind again i'm five six and I had on about two and a half inch wedges with this one. But y'all, gorgeous, steamed everything out really easy, no problems with that, perfect to travel in. It's just a beautiful, beautiful shade of blue and it's just gorgeous, perfect fit. Everything about this dress is perfection. So y'all, that is all I have for y'all today in this Timu haul. And again, a huge thank you to Timu for reaching out to me. I'm so glad that I was able to finally give them a try and see what they're about. But y'all, really, you need, if you like makeup, you need this little thing in your life. <laughs> it's beautiful. I'll have to update y'all once I get everything put in it and so y'all can see how it looks. But I'm so happy with all of these items. Just again, be mindful of measurements and reviews. They do have a lot of reviews on their, their app and everything. Just, you know, just look at individual pieces and individual reviews and I think you'll be really happy. But so, so happy with this haul and I'm so glad I'm able to bring this to y'all. So y'all, that's all I have for y'all today, but I have a ton of other stuff coming, so stick around. And if you haven't already, again, hit the subscribe button. I do, I'm trying to post as much as I possibly can. <laughs> so so y'all, thank you so much for spending your time with me. And until next time, y'all take care of yourselves and take care of each other. And I will see you soon.